Standing on the mountain of remembrance in Jerusalem, we youth from the nations of the world pledge our commitment to carry the torch of memory through studying about the Holocaust. We are the youth, we are the future of the world. I think it is definitely in our hands to do whatever we can and that's what we're going to do in this Congress to make sure that such a thing never happens again. 116 young people from 62 countries participating in the Congress, tirelessly studying and discussing the Holocaust, the memory of the Holocaust within the international community and the importance of fundamental human values. Evil will exist again and again. Unfortunately, I'm afraid that this is part of human nature. But there is enough strength, enough hope, and enough spirit energy that can prevail at the end of the day. But to Jewish eyes, we have these signs here. And I'll translate one of them for you. Juden Achtung, der Weg nach Palästina führt nicht durch diesen Ort. What does it mean? It means Jews be aware. This is not the way to Palestine. A Jewish person that walks down the street and sees this sign, what is the first thing that he cannot do? Walk down the street. And Jews could not go to the cinema, to the theater, to sit in coffee houses, to the Jews. What is happening? What? what? Discrimination, okay. And what is the solution? What is the Nazi solution for them? I realized that it wasn't numbers. They were human beings. They were each and every one of that six million people were human beings, were persons just like me, like you, like everyone else that had their own internal world. So I realized that and I realized the importance um, to expand this knowledge to a lot of people. She was in the first row, so she made me like this. And I sent her a kiss. And here is a German with his horse up with the, the feet <coughs> up in front of me, tells me, you want to enter too? As the last generation to bear witness from survivors, it is up to us to pass on the legacy of Holocaust education and remembrance. You feel like you have uh, a duty to prevent, to, to make sure that, uh, to make sure that this thing would not happen again and there would be no other survivors in the future to, you know, repeat and telling stories like this again. We appreciate tremendously your will to remember to participate with us in this very important day and to become delegates that will go back home and tell our story that is actually your story in order to make it a guidance for our future, in order to make it the basis of our behavior as human beings. Those who cannot remember the past are condemned to repeat it. And that is what I hope that young people will see, even if they are the fourth or fifth generation after Holocaust survivors. That you see special beginnings of anti-Semitism, xenophobia or racism, really in early beginnings so that you can do something against it. Today, we are privileged to host 53 diplomatic representatives from 47 countries, including 31 ambassadors from abroad who came especially for this event. Halls of such magnitude are the outset of the product of the stored mind of leaders, but they are also the product of the evil in uniform who agreed to execute and of society that remained silent. I also share my experience of how the Holocaust is more than just a historical event, but also an issue that can be generic and that can relate to us in the sense that the causes, the consequences uh, does not necessarily have to apply to the Jews and can also apply to uh, almost anyone and anywhere in the world. I wish we, you all to find new meanings during this Congress, during the discussion, during the meetings, and I really hope that new meanings will help you to become better people and to make sure that the world will be a better world. And when I fly over Texas, 
where there is more space than the entire country of Israel. And when I fly over the Swiss Alps, which are empty, the one thought that comes to me and haunts me, haunts me, is that they, all these empty places existed when I was standing in the street to be murdered because there was no place for us to go. The world was closed to the Jews and we were in the hands of the Nazis and there was no place to go. We don't know, maybe it can happen again. Maybe it will happen to Gambia, so, so people will not know about the Holocaust. So when I go back, I will tell them to make it a subject so that we use, because we are the leaders of tomorrow, we the youth can come together, sit and know that there, is, there was a Holocaust. Identify them, mark them, register them, obviously, humiliate them, dispossess them, concentrate them, transport them, and kill them. Every single person they defined as a Jew, wherever they could find them. The Congress is the most amazing opportunity to explore the Holocaust, to learn more about the world, to meet the most interesting people, to listen to the most amazing lectures, to hear all sorts of different thoughts that you've that you've just never thought about before, that you had no idea they, they existed. If, if you don't feel it, you, you cannot go deeper. So I think that this Congress helps the people, helps, helps the teenager to, to see the real problem and to real feel it. And I think that it's a good way to learn. It has been a really tough time seeing all these things, but it's it's a beautiful way that we are sharing it with each other, young people around the whole world, learning about it and doing the resistance against all the way that a human being can act. And that is a really nice thought, I think. I can tell you, each of you will be as great as the cause you will sell. And you will be small if you will sell your own ego. Ego is the smallest thing we have. Commemorating the Holocaust doesn't just mean, you know, learning the ways of how to stop genocide, learning about peace. I think the education bit is most important. And so as long as people realize how special it is, it's never going to happen again, which is what we need to get to as a human race. We are concerned that in the shadow of the Holocaust, minorities in different countries are still being persecuted and murdered. We all must learn not to be bystanders. It is our hope that this first ever International Youth Congress at Yad Vashem will make an important contribution toward encouraging respect and harmony amongst all peoples of the world. We, the participants of this International Youth Congress, are committed to learning from the past. We will be active in our countries and communities and will preserve the memory of the Holocaust. This is our declaration and we ask everyone to join us in keeping Holocaust remembrance alive.